What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review, this time episode 61. might have been the absolute best episode that we've had of the series so far. We've been talking about a whole bunch of fillers and this and that, but then in the preview that we had for last week, we knew that things were about to get turned up again, and oh my goodness, did they get turned up again. If you didn't check out the episode, you've gotta go check it out. Go find this episode, go watch it. It was amazing and so much happened. If you did watch it, let me know your favorite part in the comments down below. And if you enjoy our review, hit the thumbs up and do subscribe. Now, this episode, Starts off with Poi Pole popping in from the wormhole. It's the very first thing that we saw. We knew it was gonna freaking be an episode. But, but, the actual episodes begin with a detective guy. I don't even know who he is. The detective, Lucky, whatever. Um, and a Smeargore out filming a scene. They start filming the scene and out in the distance we see an Ultra Worm Hole. Oh my goodness, and we know who it is, right? It's Buzzwall. Buzzwall pops his way through and lands on the ground behind them. Of course they all see it, so they look over at him. He's super scared, super nervous, and flies away. I thought this was Buzzwall. He's supposed to be some big bad guy. Anyway, there's a new intro, and a couple things that I want to talk about real quick. These are, um, how do you say, how do you say, what is the English word? Um, how do you say in English, uh... Uh, theories uh, um, but there's a passimian that's shown and the passimian is like the one that the you know, there's the Pokemon that's shown in the anime that we haven't really seen yet that doesn't have a place so far I think he might have a spot on Ash's team um, that's an that, that's a thing for another day or maybe at the end of the episode um, but we do see Poi Pole. Poi Pole is very, very present in the intro. All of the Ultra Beasts are sewn. So it's like they're all going to be fighting all of these Ultra Beasts throughout. And trust me, after this, after this episode, you'll understand exactly what they're in for. But, but Poi Pole is shown with Ash's main team. And I think that's a really big deal. The episode title is called Move Out, our Ultra Guardians. It starts off simple, another day at the Pokemon school. But um, when, uh, great timing, right when Kukui ends his lesson, uh, Komala starts ringing the bell really rapidly and it's abnormal for the group and they're like, what the heck is going on? Samson Oak shows up and says that there's an emergency. Lusamine has found another Ultra Beast, calling on the Ultra Guardians to save them. And I was like, Ultra Guardians, like I know that they did a their mission earlier, but what the heck is an Ultra Guardian? Well, apparently, Kukui Oak and the Aether Paradise remodeled the Pokemon school to be an Ultra Guardian's base. So inside the school, it like flips over. You, you could call it so many different things. It's referencing so much, but everyone takes their little spot on the little floor and they descend into the lab of the Ultra Beasts. As they're doing so, they all get this awesome armor that um, puts them in, or not armor, but just an outfit that puts them in this Ultra Guardians uh, outfit that they have. And it's just, this part was so cool. It's so Power Rangers-esque. I think there were six of them. So it's definitely, definitely so Power Rangers-esque. Um, but Lusamine comes over the speaker and says, you guys are now the Ultra Guardians. And Pixie, the Hercule Fable, is there to be their assistant. So they were doing all this when we were chasing Rotoms around, when we were learning about Alolan Ninetales. What else happened? I don't even know. A whole bunch of random stuff. And they were doing this? Oh my gosh. So the group goes over the Buzzwall video downstairs and shows security videos from around Melee Melee, which is where all this happened, where Buzzwall is just whooping up on everything. He's whooping up on my champs. He's working up, or he's whooping up on um, Pangoros. Like, he's just smacking everything that he comes up to. That boy is strong. Pixie brings out some beast balls that they had. So they made all these beast balls that they're gonna be using. And there's a ton of them. But man, the whole sequence is so cool. So Ash, 
Uh, Ash gets the beast balls, and I think everybody else got medical tools. So they got like four restores, they got all the berries, etc, etc. After the group gets their equipment, it's time for them to head out, and they all have special ride Pokemon. Um, Ash picks a Garchomp, hold on, let me find the screenshot. Let me find the screenshot. So Ash has a Garchomp, um, Lily has Altaria, Mallow with Flygon, Sophocles with Metang, Lana with Dragonair, and Kiawe with, I think that's still his regular Charizard. Um, and then they take off out of a waterfall. If you've ever seen Zoids, it, it, there's, like I said, there are so many things that this is similar to. Now it flashes over to where Buzzwole is, and Buzzwole has landed and is admiring, admiring himself in the water, doing all kinds of Buzzwool poses that he's doing, you know, whatever it may be. He's flexing all over the place. But Team Rocket's Beware is hanging out and walks up to them. And they start staring at each other. And then they start fighting. Like, the Beware is actually doing something. And I just asked in the last episode, or the episode before that, if we could see this Beware do something, and now he's doing something. But... Wobbuffet and Meowth show up and they're, oh no, we gotta be quiet. But of course, Jesse and James show up and they're stupid, so they don't know any different. They're being all loud and stuff. Beware grabs them all, runs away. At this point, it shows that Buzzwool is very hungry and needs something to eat. And if you've seen the screenshots for this episode, prior to watching this episode, you already knew what was about to happen. But then we see Poipole chilling, just floating around. And he looks up and he sees the Fantastic Six. Uh, <laughs> he sees the six kids flying overhead and starts to follow them. Ash has this fancy little, hey, no, I wasn't talking to you. He has this little uh, Apple Watch where he can communicate with Lusamine on a screen. You can see it right here. But he can communicate with Lusamine. Lusamine tells them where the, be or where the Buzzwool is and they head over to it. Now when they get there, Buzzwool has just finished munching on Snorlax. He's a mosquito, so he's sucking all the blood out of Snorlax. Snorlax is like fizzled out into nothing. Um, and of course, all of the group, like I said earlier, they have their healing items. So they're able to bring Snorlax back. But of course, Ash runs ahead of the group. Ash is heading off towards Pikachu, or excuse me, towards Buzzwool. Um, when they do catch up to Buzzwool, he starts, he starts flexing. And he's making his little noise, whatever, whatever, whatever the, whatever he was saying um, when he was doing his little flexes. But Ash says, hey, I've got to catch you, so let's battle. Now, we haven't seen Pikachu battle in a while. And I think Pikachu is rusty because Pikachu starts getting smack up. Now, you could say that maybe Ash and Pikachu weren't taking it too seriously. At this point, I think it's okay for Ash not to take every single battle when he uses Pikachu seriously. I think if he would have been using Litten, he would have been going 100% right from the beginning. But I think with Pikachu, it's more just like a, all right, Pikachu, let's have some fun. Quick attack, because he always starts with quick attack. But he was getting smacked up. Eventually shifted. Um, Thunderbolt was doing some decent damage, but... Apparently Pikachu was having some trouble even though we didn't see Pikachu really take any damage. Kiawe walks up and says, "Hey, I'm going to I'm going to back you up, Ash." And Buzzwole runs up runs up in his face and starts looking at him. Jumps back. Go. Go. Buzzwole. Buzzwole. Buzzwole, whatever. And Kiawe puts his Pokéball away and goes, "Buzzwole. Buzzwole. Buzzwole." And Ash goes, this looks fun. Buzzwall, Buzzwall, Buzzwall. And he goes, hey, Pikachu, try it out. And Pikachu goes, Pika, Pika, Pika. It was the funniest thing when Pikachu started doing it because it's like, obviously Pikachu can only say its name. It was so funny. Oh my goodness. But anyway, Ash gets urged on to catch it and Ash throws one beast ball and captures it. During this time, Though while the ball is shaking, the whole group is like centered around the Pokeball. Pikachu is walking up there and Poipo comes down to Pikachu, introduces itself and flies away. Are they trying to make Poipo like Mew? Because this Poipo was acting very Mew-like and I'm not okay with that. First movie Mew needs to be left alone. That is a, 
um, that is a, uh, how do you say, what is the word, uh, what, how do you say in English, um, a pride, I don't know, whatever, should be treasured. First movie, Mew, should be treasured. Oh, they take the Pokeball, they take the Beast Ball to Mele Mele Meadow where Burnett opens a wormhole and Ash sends Buzzwall out. It was, I, I thought the Buzzwall was just gonna run away, but um, they, they flex one more time to Buzzwall, the entire group does, and Buzzwall flies back. It's like, it's like he got forced into this world on, like against his will because he just voluntarily went back when they showed him the ultra wormhole. So I wonder if we're gonna see more about that. Like I said in the intro, it did show all of the ultra beasts. So eventually they're gonna be making their way there and you know, we'll see. I think, I think there's a whole lot that can happen now and I'm so excited that things got turned up again. Uh, but that was the end of the episode. And it was like, oh my gosh, so much happened. It, <laughs> I know this review is a little shorter than I think usual, maybe, but there was so much in it. I think it might have been one of the best episodes of the series so far. I think the fact that it's set up for so much with the Ultra Guardians, the fact that they have this base that they go down and then they change into this Ultra Guardians outfit and Lusamine, Burnett, and uh, who's the other one? Lusamine, Burnett, and Wick are all there helping. Pixie's helping them. It doesn't seem like it's following the game, which uh, which I'm I mean it doesn't it wouldn't make sense for it to fully follow the game, but I think it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens with Poi Pole as far as like how he joins the team uh, and what his role is and what he's doing. And eventually, when we see the Ultra Recon Squad, I think that's gonna be really big as well. Now our preview for next week does kind of show another filler, but it would actually seem pretty interesting. Um, the filler is centered around Team Rocket. Thank God it's not centered around Marini again, but it is centered around Team Rocket. Meowth and an Alolan Meowth. And they get switched. Meowth is shown at Oranguru's bar and he's upset. Alolan Meowth winds up capturing Pikachu and is like, does his signature if you've ever seen a Lolan Meowth sprite where he's just standing there just like, that's what he's doing. Uh, but it also shows Ash and Kiawe training and they're doing a double battle. It shows Turtonator, it shows Turtonator and Pikachu, no, Turtonator and Lycanroc, a Lolan Marowak and Litten fighting. They, they had collided. So is it time? Is it time for an evolution next week? They didn't really hint at it too much and I think it would be... It would be rushing it to put it in this episode that's so focused around Alola and Meowth. But anyway, that was it for this episode. Again, I thought it was absolutely great. I thought there were hilarious moments. I love what they're doing with the Ultra Guardians, and I can't wait to see what they do with Poi Pole going forward. Again, if you checked out the episode, let me know what you thought about it. Let me know your favorite part in the comments down below, and let me know what you think is coming up. Let me know anything that I might have missed, and we will see you in the next review next Friday. Thank goodness we finally have this series on the right day. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.